Good evening, everyone. Plenty of reasons to expect a compelling contest tonight here on the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pac de France. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're getting down to the wire in the UEFA Champions League. Tonight, the first leg of the semi-final coming right up. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Bayern Munich. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. team looks like this Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal Sergio Ramos plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence Marco Verratti starts alongside Fabian in central midfield and leading the line Lionel Messi plays alongside Kylian Mbappe And here's how Bayern will line up. Sven Ulreich starts in goal. Benjamin Pavard plays with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. Sadio Mane starts with Serge Gnabry on the flanks. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Now showing excellent vision, just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Choupo-Moting. Vitor Ferreira. Neymar playing with purpose and control. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. It's Neymar's corner. Not all that convincing defensively. And Neymar. Now with Hakimi. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. An exciting talent who has everything a forward needs to be successful. Stuart, what are you expecting to see from Mbappe? Yeah, he's a real handful, particularly when he's running with the ball. And, of course, his finishing has been so clinical. That's why he's their leading goal scorer. Just the challenge that was required. And really closing him down here. Not showing good defensive judgment. Lionel Messi. Can he put them in front? And a goal! The opener in the semi-final. First goal of the contest. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And Mbappe's movement and penalty box awareness makes that finish look easy. That's a really good goal. Not by and restart the game. A wake-up call for them, perhaps. Good physical play. 
Vitor Ferreira. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Gnabry. How about the cross? Kimmich. Can he get them level? The save was a good one. And over it comes. Well, he didn't trouble the goalkeeper, but it wasn't a straightforward chance, you've got to say. Neymar. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Can he finish? Wonderful block. Verratti. A very timely interception. Mane. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. A good and fair challenge. Alfonso Davies. Mane. Gnabry. Oh, he looks threatening. Gnabry! It's still alive. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Well, the keeper deserves a lot of credit. That was a fine save, wasn't it? Mane. He could pick out a teammate. A really top-notch piece of defending. And Neymar showing magnificent vision. Defended well. Would have been a foul, but instead, advantage Bayern. Chupomoting and a chance to level it. Oh, wonderful goalkeeping. Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. But he's gone short with it. Kimi. Now uh, just the tackle that was needed. Now what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? Neymar! And there it is! A two-goal cushion now! And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it. And then from that sort of range, Neymar was never going to miss. It's a well-worked goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Chupomoting onto Goretzka. Well read to put an end to that attack. Now, can they create something? Mbappe. Corner awarded to PSG. And Bayern will change personnel now.
Going short. Marquinhos. Now with Mbappe. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Musiala. Mane. It needs an accurate cross. And that'll be a Bayern ball. Messi. Real chance. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. The delivery from Neymar. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form. Well, here it is again. And you have to say, it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. But just look at the space he has. He doesn't even have to jump. Of course, it's a good finish, but the market is woeful. ball is rolling once more PSG dominant and it's starting to get out of hand you just feel Leon Goretzka Zane has it oh in with a chance and in oh yes exactly what they were hoping to produce they've delivered the goal Well, here it is again. It's a wonderful pass from Sane. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. And that is that for the first half here in the French capital. And on the evidence of what we're seeing in this match, Kylian Mbappe is a striker at the peak of his powers, you've got to say, Stuart. Well, he's been at his best today. He just seems to get his shots away so easily, and he's taken his goals really well. Brilliant stuff from him. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Sané, just cutting off the supply. Verratti. And space to attack. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And he's broken free. Oh, offside. How marginal was that? But the flag is raised. Well, they've decided to make a change. Neymar. A really sumptuous ball. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Mbappe. Mane. 
Zane has it. Alfonso Davies. On to Goretzka. Useful looking ball. Well, it might still work out for them. And he clears it out of harm's way. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. What an incredible save. A wonderful goalkeeping moment. Now, will he be put to the test again here? Well, offside, I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. Lionel Messi. Fabian. Not away completely. Well, it looked so threatening, but the danger averted. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Sané. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Fabian now with Messi Neymar and the timing was perfect ball one Sané and return to Muna ball's gone Mbappe that's what you call defending from the front possibilities here and it's two for him today a masterful performance the defenders unable to stop him well let's take another look at the replay what a through ball this is by Mbappe and then from that sort of range Neymar was never going to miss it's a well worked goal Defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Serge Gnabry. Pavard with it. Thomas Müller. Well, he's given us away. And into the last 20 minutes. Well, it could be on for him here. Pivotal moment defensively. Mbappe. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Able to get a body in the way. It's a good looking ball in behind. Well, he had just gone beyond the last defender, Stuart. Well, that's a real shame because the through ball is really well weighted. But he just took too long to play it. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Kimpembe. Kimpembe. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. De Ligt. Mane. Here's Zane. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Not the pass he had in mind. Muller. Now with Goretzka. Zane. Now Kimmich. That's well blocked.
Hakimi. Now with Messi. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. But the danger averted for now. Goretzka. Here's Zane. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Mbappe. Mbappe. Messi. Well, simply couldn't beat the first defender. Messi. And able to close down the shot. And Ronaldo Sanchez with it now. And with that, the referee brings this knockout stage contest to an end. Paris Saint-Germain with the advantage, one that they will now carry into the decisive second leg of the tie. Well, they were really good today. Their approach play, their movement off the ball, and of course their finishing were excellent, as was their work rate. A disciplined performance in the second leg, and they're into the final. Well, you know, I think Kylian Mbappe enjoyed himself. Your verdict on his performance tonight? Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.